Hi, I'm Marcel. I'm the co-founder of Tusk. Tusk is an AI agent that generates unit and integration tests for your PRs. So I've just raised a PR for adding a seat limit of three for organizations on our free plan. So if we take a look at files changed, I've added an enum for free plan max seats. And in user service, I've added a check to see if the organization has hit the free plan seat limit. Um, and based on this check, um, I'm getting user invites to throw an error if uh, we reach the maximum number of seats for that organization. Now, when I raise this PR, Tusk automatically looks at the code changes, the PR description, and we run a non-blocking GitHub check, essentially to generate unit tests according to your code base context. Uh, we're able to do this by employing a mix of LLM as well as programmatic approaches like the language server protocol in order to generate tests of very high quality. So if I click view tests right here, you can now see that we've generated five tests, three have passed, two have failed. The one thing that we do differently from code review tools or other code generation code pilots in your IDE is that we actually run the tests that we generate in an ephemeral sandbox. And this way we can actually determine if they've passed or if they've failed. Um, we can take a look right now at a happy path test. So in this case, uh, check free plan seat limits should be returning true when users are below the enum. This is correct, um, as you can see. So we actually show you the reason for why this is included. We show you the test diff as well. And in this case, we're marking the users, we're marking the client, um, adding the right subscription plan. And we can also see the test execution raw output. Uh, in this case, it is returning true and passing. Now I want to take a look at an edge case that we may not have accounted for. So as you can see, we have two failing tests. Uh, one of them is for returning false when seats exactly equal free plan max seats. So let's take a look at the details. Uh, it's telling me that currently the function allows adding a seat when the seat count equals the maximum limit. I believe this is true and this is an actual bug in our code because uh, if it is exactly equal the enum, the user invites is going to allow one more seat to be uh, added to that organization. So as you can see, uh, the assumption we do call out business logic wise is that this does denote the absolute maximum seat count. So that's correct. As you can see, we're doing the mocking again uh, consistently to the rest of the test cases. And if we look at the test execution raw output, we are receiving true when we should be uh, receiving false. So this is an actual bug in our code. We can actually take a look as well underneath for potential fixes. And it seems like this fix right here is actually the fix we need to uh, implement, which is making sure that this logical operator is uh, not less than equal to, but just less than. Awesome. So this is something I would go into my IDE and then fix um, in order to make sure that this bug is prevented before we even merge this PR. Awesome. I like all of these test cases. They make a lot of sense. So I can just go up right here uh, and click incorporate tests. Uh, what this does is that it does create a new commit on the PR uh, with the tests that we have generated. So as you can see right here, we have a new commit for incorporated Tusk tests. And you can see that we've generated a test file and that works as expected. Awesome. So that's the end-to-end -end flow. I hope this shows you that with Tusk, your engineers can focus on building features while letting Tusk take on the chore work of actually writing the tests that cover it. And if you would like a demo of how we can help you prevent bugs while keeping your shipping velocity high, you can reach out to me at marcel at usetusk.ai and I would be happy to hop on a call with you.